This is question number 199 from chapter 1 of J.B. Gupta's book and the question goes like this. The parameters of the circuit shown in the figure are Ri is equals to 1 mega ohm. This is 1 mega ohm. R0 is equals to 10. This is just 10. And the value of A is equal to 10 to the power of 6. So this is 10 to the power of 6 VA. And we are being asked to find, okay, if the value of VA is 1 microvolt, the value of this is 1 microvolt. So here it will be 10 power 6 will be mega, mega into micro will become 1. So the value of all this is going to be 1. The output voltage, so first we need to find the value of output voltage. So, okay, first let us try to find the output voltage. If you look at this figure, the output voltage is the voltage that is across these two terminals. If you see, if you don't have a load connected here, there will not be any current flowing through this R0. So there won't be any drop across this. So this A into VI is going to be the output voltage. So V0 is equals to A into VI. And we have been given the value of A to be equal to 10 to the power of 6 and the value of V to be equal to 1 micro volt. And we write micro as 10 to the power of minus 6. So it will be 1 volt. So the output voltage here is 1 volt. So the answer could either be A, B or C. Now let us find the second part. We are, we are being asked to find the value of input impedance. So let us try to find the value of input impedance. If you look this circuit, input impedance is the impedance that is offered by this network if looked at if we look from this terminals. If you see this point is terminated here. It has no connection whatsoever to this network. So it is obvious that uh, if we look at if we look from these two terminals, we will experience an open circuit and we know the resistance value of open circuit to be equal to infinity. So the answer is option A obviously. Let us also find the other things that have been asked. So we are also being asked to find the output impedance. Let us try to find the value of output impedance. So output impedance is the impedance that is observed if we look from these points. So if you see, this is uh, this is a tricky part. So uh, let us do one thing. If we try, if we just try to find the value of uh, output impedance directly by looking at the circuit, it will become hard. But we can do one thing. We can apply the Thevenin's theorem. So if you want to apply the Thevenin's theorem, the independent sources are to be short circuited and dependent sources are to be open circuited. We don't know what is the independent source that has been given. We don't know if it is a current source or a voltage source. We just know because of that hypothetical voltage source, we are getting the voltage of VI to be equal to 1 microvolt. Since we don't know about that, we just leave it as it is, assuming that we have been given a uh, we have been given a voltage source or a current source. In order to thevenize the circuit and if you want to find the thevenin resistance, it is mandatory to remove the source from the circuit. No matter if it is a voltage source or a current source, if you remove the independent source from the circuit, this variable is going to be equal to zero. If VI becomes equal to zero, this dependent source will lose its effect and it will also become equal to zero. So when this thing becomes zero and here RI is already open circuited, if you look from this terminal, you will you can judge that this R0 is equal to Z0. And the value of R0 from the question, uh, we know it to be equal to 10 ohms. So the value of output impedance is 10 ohms. So all these values are uh, an exact match with option A. So for question number 199, the correct answer is an option A.